My name is Kate Cedar, and I'm one of the naturalists for City of Bloomington Parks and Rec. And I'm going to be doing segments called What's in Your Yard, where we're going to talk about common plants that you can find usually in your backyard, in your common green spaces, or in some of the grassy spaces of our parks. And I wanted to start with one of my favorites, which is the common violet. And you can see them all around me now. They come in early, early spring, and they give that little pop of color to your yard. So the common name is violet, and then the Latin name is viola sororia. And it is similar to if anybody has the houseplant African violet, but I'm talking about the one native to the United States. And they're very different. So if you come closer, come closer, closer to the babes, they look, the flowers look kind of like a tiny orchid. See, they have the purple on the leaves. Some of them can be white or they can be spotted. But this purple kind is the most common. You can see these little hairs on the inside. And that leads to this side, so it sees like a little jar back there. Ah. And that's where all of the nectar is. So when a pollinator comes in, when a bee or something comes in, these hairs will brush that pollen off or take pollen in so that they can be pollinated for the next generation. And if you look down closer, you can see their leaves are heart-shaped with little ridges on them that are bumpy. So they're pretty easy to find. They spread very easily, so if you would want to, you know, if you're picky about your yard and you want it to be all grass, but you like the color, you can actually transplant them into your, your garden beds and they'll just take over. And violets are indeed uh, edible. The whole thing is edible. The flowers, they are very commonly used to be put on cakes, pastries, or like give pop of color to your salad, be all fancy. They taste a little bit sweet, the flowers do. Um, the greens can also be eaten. Most wild greens tend to be a little bit bitter. Um, so most people, when you're making a salad off of it, you know, it's not going to be all violet greens. It's going to be a little bit of each. Two. When you plant them, they do like to grow in the shade, which is why I usually find them in the front yard more than I do the backyard. The violet can also be used for herbal medicine. So the flower can be taken and can be made into a fresh tea or a dried tea, and that can really help with a sore throat. You can make a bunch of other cool foodstuffs with them. So my family made violet syrup with them last year, which was really fun. We just collected a bunch of the flowers and steeped it, put some sugar in with it, and created this really, really vivid purple syrup, which tasted really sweet and, and flowery. Now, if you do want to try violets, you want to always make sure that nothing's been sprayed on your yard. That includes, you know, pesticides, fertilizers, or, you know, something more common like your dog. I eat things from the front yard. I do not eat things from the backyard where the white weasel lives. The other thing is whenever you're trying something new, you only want to try a little bit of it at a time. That way you know that you aren't going to have a bad reaction to it. Violets, if you eat too many at once, they do act as a mild laxative, so be warned. Go munching on Go them like gummies. like gummies. They are not goldfish crackers. Unfortunately. But they are very, very, very pretty. And they're one of my favorites. Like yeah, violets are amazing! 